Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Jesus. Yeah. Come on, let's ride hard to Tumbleweed. Back to Tumbleweed? Alright, sounds good. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lying in their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deeks, Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill standards have slipped. <laughs> sure seems like they have already. Right. Jesus Christ. We already filled you with lead once. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on this McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. That was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. God, I love how coy Marston is about to be. taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped. It's like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. If your boy steps out of line, you whack him. If he does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. Across the bridge! I'm 
far to go now. Yep, well, this would be our third time making the trek here to Tumbleweed, so it's nothing new. But thanks, Marshall. I appreciate it. So we've made it at long last. Jesus Christ. <laughs> John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marsk, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm uh, sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. No. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Really? Keep talking. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Can I shoot this Get asshole? Get these ropes off me, boys! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We... Well, that didn't last long. So, obviously there was a nice little ambush here, and uh, yeah. Whew, so did Deke just die? Did he just, yeah. Alright, but we gotta be, we gotta be quick. Ooh, camera. Okay. I'm gonna go. Whew. Gotta be a little bit careful with how we deal with this, because we actually need to not be slow. Oh, you are there. There we go. Oh, you good? Or or did you want to try a different approach? Also, I cannot see shit. Okay, there it is. There we go. Make sure you have a lot of red dead revolver power here, because that would be fantastic for this part. Also, eventually we are going to have to haul ass in there, so... So I'm gonna take it a little bit slowly and not be foolish about it. Some of these guys are in dumb places. And you would think how many times we've done this. Oh god. No! Don't you lay a finger on her! Okay, we need to hurry over there. Fast. Maybe if we let ourselves go out in the open. Then they wanna do stuff. Alright, I might need to use some moonshine here. Because we have to actually physically go up to her. All right, there's a bunch of you guys over here. All right, let's try this. I know a couple of the deputies are over here, but we're good. Okay. Okay. I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now. What the hell took you so long, stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. So much for that. Thanks for taking out the rest of the guys, I guess? I didn't realize... Alright. That's fine with me. So yeah, very interesting turn of events as Marston and his foot physics here decide that that's what he wants to do. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Also, my money count is really weird right now. Wasn't it just at like 832? And, uh, okay, I'm not gonna complain because this game just is weird. So yeah, <laughs> so much for that Marshall mission, right? It brought us all the hell the way back over here. And I kind of want to end in Thieves Landing, but now I don't really know. Because there's still so much for us to do there, and I don't want to be like, okay guys, we got to end it off here. Because the Irish mission that takes place there is pretty, pretty long as well. And it's weird, because I feel like they skip a few cutscenes, and it doesn't really mesh up well with, you know, the consistency of our last conversation. So, unless I just skipped it and that was being dumb, but that was pretty good. That was decent. I thought we were going to have a little bit more trouble than we did there, but we laid siege upon this place like there was no tomorrow. 
like we had done it many times before. So let's get out of here. I think it's night time for us to return to Irish because, well, he's got one last mission for us. And he's in Thieves Landing, and that place holds a lot of good stuff for us, especially if we feel like getting even more cash, amongst other things. So we need to head way the hell over there. Except first we need to go to Pike's Basin. Do we want to do one more siege before we go? I think that would be a good idea. So what I'm going to do... What do we want to do? Maybe I will fast travel to the McFarlane Ranch, and then... Yeah, I'll do that, and then we'll head to Pike's Basin. Sounds good. I'll meet you guys there in just a moment. Ah, uh, here we are, McFarlane's Ranch. And from here, we could actually go even closer to Thieves Landing, but... Eh, don't feel like it. So, let's go over here, take care of uh, St. Jimmy, because he's gonna be doing things. Jesus Christ, what are you guys doing? Why are you guys being evil? Stop shooting in the air like a bunch of scoundrels. I hope I don't have to murder you guys, because that would kind of suck. Look at that dummy just shooting in the air. What are you doing? That's not... Oh my god. Okay, let's try this then. Yeah, that's not that's not very fun, is it? Alright, and this guy. I don't know how I got him, but... Where's the last one, huh? I... Okay. That is... Very unusual. Yeah, did I just save these guys? I think I did. They were about to lay siege upon the ranch here. Okay. Well, are you okay, sir? <laughs> oh, fuck. What is going on? Who is still shooting? Oh, an old edition newspapers. Fuck, where am I getting shot from? Somebody. It's not showing up on my radar. Oh, this asshole. Well, have fun with that. Uh, okay, um, I don't... Shit, no, no, I was he was shooting at me! Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. Alright, puppy. <laughs> Horsey Warwick, we apparently did a bad thing by saving the town. Uh, we're gonna have a wanted, maybe? Our first legitimate wanted? On the count of people being stupid? Wanted for murder. Nice. Fuck. <laughs> that was kind of silly. That is not fair. Okay. I'm taking this way into to Pike's Basin a little bit oddly. No, don't you fall. Because there should be... Yep, the gang's here. So... Just gonna go ahead and get a nice little... Oof. Aerial view. And yeah, the rancher's gonna be the one that's coming up here, so... Somebody shooting at me? My controller rumbled, but... <laughs> I don't think I took damage. Okay. Uh, expect more lawmen. Uh-oh. Yeah, so, yeah, they'll try to bring us in unless we pay back our debt to society, which was... That was dumb. <laughs> that was silly. Alright, so, yep, St. Jimmy's over here. Nice. And can you guess? <laughs> He's tied up again, so... <laughs> Too bad for him. Okay, so we've got this. Just a couple extra bucks there. We'll probably use the money we take off of people here to pay off our bounty, which is unfortunate, but... What you got for me, St. Jimmy? Thanks, sport. You are a true American hero. Right. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a little bit of the local color, you know? But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take off now while I'm left to murder everybody. So, welcome to episode what six? <laughs> At this point, it was the last time we were here. <laughs> we're basically expected to make the exact same trek, but we do need we do need a man, a man named the Rancher to help us. And much like Floyd before, we need him to survive until the bitter end so that we can reap the maximum rewards out of this. Otherwise, I think the bandits come back. So, I'm not sure about the Floyd one when we went back to the mine, but we'll see. 